You know, first thing this morning, the first news story I heard was that Pfizer uh, had developed a COVID vaccine that was 90% effective. And there was a lot of excitement about it and anticipation that the market would be excited about it. My first thought was, I got to bounce this off Lance Hocutt, the money man. Lance, good morning. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, brother. How y'all this morning? We're doing quite well for a Monday. Just talking about Pfizer reporting that they may have a COVID vaccine 90% effective, and that's impact on the market today. Tell us a little bit about that and how that works. Well, there's a lot of excitement for that. Steve-O, if you go back to March 23rd when this market started crashing, what was it about? It was about COVID. Right. Okay. We were shutting our economy. We were shutting the markets down because of COVID. Now we get a... Uh, 90% effective vaccine, and again, they're they're looking at trials, so that doesn't mean that it's uh, 100% by any means, but that's good news because there's so much uncertainty about where this thing goes. If you look at what the numbers this last weekend, I mean, we're topping hundreds of thousands every day of new infections, so any positive news is going to move the markets like that. Obviously, we're coming off the election, the election results. Some of us like that. Some of us don't like it. But at the end of the day, that's America. We circle back, we hunker down, and we start moving forward. So that's the positivity you're finding in the market. That's the excitement you're finding because we need that vaccine to get us through this. We need herd immunity. We need everybody or a certain point to uh, a lot of people to get it so we can get through this thing and keep moving. I think that uh, crowd celebrating that Notre Dame win uh, over Clemson on the field. Was that not unbelievable <laughs> that was watching a, Notre heard, Dame beat, uh, beat Clemson uh, first time uh, since uh, they beat FSU down up there? It was awesome. It was an awesome game if anybody watched it. Yeah, I've, it I've, I've never cheered for Notre Dame, but I did. And then they covered the field. Their fans did. Uh, so a, a little herd mentality going on there, man. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of herd mentality going on there. You bet. And I think. You know what? That's the, the resiliency of America, whether you like the election or not, whether you like the shutdowns or not. Guess what? We're going to come back stronger, meaner, and leaner, and I'm going to encourage everybody to just keep going. But you need a plan. You need to find out how to navigate through the good, the bad, the ugly, and make sure we're headed in the right direction. Listener, guess Joyce uh, jumped in this morning. Go ahead. That Guess what? There's a guy that can help you do it. We do it every day for folks just like y'all. Oh, I know you do. Lance Hocutt Financial Group. I want to slip Joyce in here real quick if we could because I know she's listening right now. We got the message a few minutes ago. She tapped the app, 95.3 The Bear. She said, please ask Lance Hocutt this morning, Steve, if I'm on severance pay, can I apply for unemployment? So if you're on severance, it depends on what if you've officially been terminated or not. Usually severance means you have been terminated. So uh, it, it just depends on how you got that severance as well, okay? So if they're paying you out over time or if they gave you a lump sum, if they gave you a lump sum and said, see ya, then guess what? You are unemployed. If you are still getting that every two weeks or something like that, you're most likely not unemployed. So I would check the contract. I would check how they said you are no longer employed with us and then make that decision from there. But, yes, you need to be completely unemployed to go file for unemployment. I got you. Good luck to you, Joyce. Thanks for thinking about us with your question this morning. Keep those questions coming. We give them to the money man, Lance Hocutt, live on the radio about 9.15 every morning, 95.3 The Bear. Tap that app if you want answers to your questions. Hey, God bless everybody. Uh, look, remember the Lance Hocutt Financial Group is an independent firm. We clear through S.A. Stone Wealth Management. God bless you, and we will talk to you all tomorrow. You got it. Thank you, sir. Lance Hocutt, the money man online. Lance Lancehocut.com. Ho